I'm lactose intolerant, but you know, sometimes you take one for the team yeah. and you go and have ice cream. I am the team. <laughs> We're in your home. I'm seeing someone who, who's just working. I have this thing where I'm always trying to learn. This is my right now library. Yeah. I have my other bookshelf with like books that I'll read eventually. But then I also have the right now, right now books. <laughs> The city that I grew up in is Peter Maritzburg, which is a 45 minute drive to D Durban, depending on who's driving. I'm very new to the traveling world, but I'm very happy. And I'm sharing most of the experiences with like my sister or my closest friend. So I'm here for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> you apparently have some cereal. I have cereal. That's so all she I does have. not cook breakfast. No, she doesn't. <laughs> and like literally, I love my kitchen because it's got the best light in the apartment, like for selfies and all that. But in terms of food, mm. <laughs> <laughs> can I see what's in your fridge? Oh my god! Wait, let me see. Is there anything? There is water oh and ch chocolate, milk. I don't actually drink that. And that, that. And that water. Red onion. <laughs> <laughs> that actually needs to be tucked away. I'm in the process of learning, you know, the anatomy of the body, strength training secrets. So like. I want to know how the body itself works in terms of fighting and the different skills that the, the characters would have. A lot of people saw you for the first time in the underground realm, right? Uh -huh. But obviously you've had a career. Yeah. So you're not new yeah. to the business. You're, you're just, just new to Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm new to Hollywood. So do you have milk? Milk, yes, I do have milk. And I never eat cereal. <laughs> <laughs> cereal does enough to like give me energy to go work out, right? How much are you gonna have? I'll, I'll have a little bit. Okay, cool. I'm lactose intolerant, but you know, sometimes you take one for the team yeah. and you go and have ice cream. I am the team. Cool. Yeah. I heard that you have an ambition to build an orphanage. Where are you on that ambition? This year it's obviously like, registering a foundation of sorts. But before we even get to the orphanage, I want to actively try find bursaries for kids that can't, go, can't afford to go to school. The orphanage is my ultimate, ultimate, ultimate in terms of changing lives. <sighs> yeah. My last 24 hours, I've been quite absorbed in your world. You appear to be on a real mission. Okay, what mission is this? I think you want to change the world. I would like to do what I can to change the world with the time that I have. I don't think this is about celebrity <clears throat> or fame. It's about art and a drive. Like, yes. I would love to hear more about that from you. You know, I think it really comes from a place where I know that I'm here because of what others did. Um, number one being my grandmother. My sister and I lost our mother when I was four years old to a brain tumor. So our grandmother raised us knowing that my life could have turned out completely differently had it not been for our grandmother. I had the conviction that I should be that for someone else. And so now I'm like, okay, how do I use the gifts and the talents that I have to help someone else? Now my voice is loud enough to help someone else. And so it's a case of if I can't do it physically myself, how do I lend my name and my influence to the aid of someone else? We've got Netflix South Africa, we've got Prime Video South Africa, and all of those for me are opportunities for someone else and not necessarily me. It's not about how I can advance myself, but how I can use my experience to help someone else get to their purpose. Fantastic. Yeah. Hmm. That's fresh. Mm. Can you tell me a bit about your grandmother? She had been a school principal. She had been a teacher. Uh, it was crazy. It's crazy because whatever it is that our grandmother experienced in her lifetime, she never spoke about. She was super strict. Her second husband was the first black bishop in South Africa. As we grew older and as we got to know each other as people, she was everything we needed. Nearly all of great art is rooted in some way in trauma, right? Yeah, I, I think so. I think growing up, between my sister and myself, I was the quieter of the two. We were told that people liked her more, so I had to accept that that meant people didn't like me. Tell me about anime. Uh, 
I love anime. <laughs> yes, because I, I need to learn. I'm, I'm trying to learn how to write anime. I had images pop up in my head, even in my dreams, and I would write them down. And then eventually, in the process of trying to de uh, decide what it would be, I was like, I really enjoy consuming anime. Why not make this idea an anime? I did not grow up, grow up being like a comic book reader. Um, I'm in the process of learning and put, putting myself in that world. Honestly, uh, for most of last year, my life was not my own. We went from finishing the movie straight to, you know, the awards circuit press. I'm like, wait, 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 cut. <laughs> what is actually happening and i think i need to figure out a way to navigate that system i can't afford to feel like i'm giving a hundred percent of myself to a system that's not necessarily giving me anything back in that moment very good yeah your physicality and the training and the fight training was obviously a huge part of yes. the woman king right how often do you train well, I work out with Gabby, Gabriella McLean, who was our trainer for the movie, between four and six times a week, depending on the schedule. Okay. Does exercise help your focus, help your brain? Yeah. It's, um, it's if I'm in a slump, that's what gets me up. How many are we doing? Three of you. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Are you and your sister very close? Yes. And when we lost our grandmother, it really became a thing of all we have is each other in this world. And so we're like this now. So that's her. That's my first niece, my favorite person. Ooh, let me pull this one out because this is a South African artist. And I would love to collaborate with him at some point. Sebastian Jones, um, who created the world of Niobe. And we've got something coming up very soon. This section is just, you know, specifically for the Underground Railroad. Um, I got like a few recognitions from it. It's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. Barry is one of the kindest and sweetest humans I have ever, ever met. And like, honestly, I would work with him a thousand times over. Obviously, he's gifted. He's got vision. He's extremely talented but his heart is his best feature, like no lies. This is from the Underground Railroad. Uh, this is Cora. This is actually a funny story. The artist had heard of the Underground Railroad being shot in Savannah and he didn't know us from a bar of soap and was just so excited about having the story be told that he was, was painting images of the cast members. Wow. And yeah, mine was the first that he had painted and he, he had no Cora. clue. I was just photographing you. And I was reminded about your eyes and just the story that you seem particularly talented or gifted at saying so much without saying a word. And what is your process you go through to do that? I think it's allowing the, whatever the character's thought process is to actually happen in real time instead of imposing, oh, she should be feeling like this right now. Let it happen. And then as a human being, your face would adjust accordingly. Wonderful. Tell me one amazing thing about Viola Davis. I think the most amazing thing about Viola is how human she is. Cause you know, people put her on a pedestal and now she's an EGOT holder. She's got an Emmy, she's got, got a Globe, she's got an Oscar, and a Tony, and a Grammy. Um, but she is an incredible human being who feels as hard as she breathes, you know, just existing has been a challenge for her, but she still has the heart to help people and it's pure. It's not about her at all. And for me, she's gone above and beyond in just holding me as a person who she recognized has a wound from not having a mother. Yeah. Oh, and my wall of happiness. Oh, you got a wall of happiness? I got a wall of happiness. Is that private or can I show you the can. wall of happiness? I got a wall of happiness. A sentence. Why are you on planet Earth? Oh my goodness. Why am I on planet Earth? I really believe that I'm on planet Earth 
to help those who do not have to help enrich their lives in different ways that could literally be just me being there with them listening to what they have to say to me aiding financially physically and yeah i think that is my ultimate purpose brilliant thank you thank you thank you so much for having me thank you thank you so much for having me thank you for being here